Good evening and welcome to the channel's studios here in London with your international news around the world in five. Israel says it has encircled the Jabalia refugee camp, which was once the largest in Gaza. The military claimed it was being used as a Hamas base. Meanwhile, Israel continues its bombardment of the southern Gaza Strip, including the city of Khan Yunus, which has been partially evacuated. The United Nations has deplored the resumption of military operations. The resumption of hostilities in Gaza is catastrophic. We urge all parties and states with influence over them to redouble efforts immediately to ensure a ceasefire on humanitarian and human rights grounds. Recent comments by Israeli political and military leaders indicating that they are planning to expand and intensify the military offensive are very troubling. Rescuers have found two more bodies on an Indonesian volcano that erupted over the weekend, bringing the death toll to 13. The search for 10 other hikers on Mount Merapi resumed on Tuesday after being paused due to safety worries. Merapi was still erupting as hundreds of rescuers scaled slippery terrain in search of the missing. The volcano spewed a three-kilometer ash cloud into the air on Sunday, shrouding surrounding villages in ash. Heavy rains and strong winds are battering India's southern Andhra Pradesh state as a severe cyclonic storm makes landfall. Nine people, including a child, have died in Andhra Pradesh and neighboring Tamil and Nadu state in rain-related incidents. Authorities have evacuated thousands of people from low-lying areas in both states. Many residential areas are flooded and videos show cars floating in water. A former Tesla employee says he believes the technology powering the firm's self-driving vehicles is not safe enough to be used on public roads. Lukas Krupski leaked data including customer complaints about Tesla's braking and self-driving software to a German newspaper in May. He said attempts to highlight his concerns internally had been ignored. Tesla did not respond to requests for comment. Elon Musk, the chief executive of Tesla, has championed its self-driving technology. Six colonial-era artifacts which have been returned to Sri Lanka by the Netherlands were showcased at the Colombo National Museum. The colonial artifacts include the bejeweled cannon of candy made of bronze, silver and gold, seized in 1765 by soldiers of the Dutch East Company and displayed in the Prince of Orange's Cabinet of Rarities and later the Rijksmuseum in Amsterdam. A World War II-era bomb has been detonated in waters near Langeland, a Danish island to the south of the country. A fisherman immediately notified authorities after the 130-kilogram weapon got caught in his net. The explosion occurred 15 meters below the surface, according to the Defense Department. And Brian Grubb has reportedly become the first person in the world to combine drone wake skating and base jumping, descending nearly 300 meters. Grubb started his journey on top of a sky bridge at a Dubai resort's infinity pool. He began by wake skating 94 meters across the rooftop pool before leaping over the pool's edge into a 77-story base jump. The successful mix of wake skating and base jumping has been dubbed wake base. I mean, once I got in the pool, I got a, like a little turn to the pool and set up for the ramp, and then I had good, good speed at the at the ramp. David had like the drone pilot had perfect speed for me. As soon as I got to the bottom of the ramp, I just like wanted to really make sure I focused on getting that grab, and then I. As soon as I got the grab, I just kind of looked up at the drone, and that's when I kind of bailed off the board. I made sure I was clear of the tether and just had a nice slow barrel roll, and I was kind of going with the building, like, down the way, and just had sick visuals, like, seeing the side of the building and, like, looking out over the water out here, and then... And that's your international news around the world in five. Now back to the channel's studios in Lagos.